Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator. So if we have 16 to the power of 7 minus 16 to the power of 6. So we can write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. Uh, so I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. But you remember one thing in your mind is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. Okay, so we show all of the working here. Uh, now the very first step we are going to do is first we need to uh, break the basis of these terms. As this is 16, we write it as 4 square and its whole power is 7 minus. This is also 16, we write it as 4 square and its whole power is 6. And now here we need to apply the nice exponent law for according to this law we will multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 times of 7 is equals to 14 minus 2 times of 6 is equals to 12. And now further in the next step uh, here uh, we again uh, break the first term as this is 4 to the power of 14 and we write it as 4 to the power of 12 plus 2 minus we write this term as 4 to the power of 12 and now you see here uh, we again apply the exponent law on the first term so we can write the first term as uh, 4 to the power of 12 multiplied by 4 square minus this is 4 to the power of 12 and now you see here both of these terms involve 4 to the power of 12 so that we will take common 4 to the power of 12 and we get the remaining values are from here we get 4 square minus from here we get only 1 and this is equals to 4 square is equals to uh, 16 and this is minus 1 and when we subtract uh, 16 minus 1 it is equals to uh, here you have 4 to the power of 12 multiplied by 16 minus 1 is equals to 15. And now here in the next step we again break the 4 to the power of 12 as in this form. Uh, so uh, we write it as 4 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3. We know that 4 times of 3 becomes 12 and it is multiplied by 15. And now here uh, we need to uh, move 4 inside the term and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 and its whole exponent is 3 and it is multiplied by 15 and this is equals to 4 to the power of 4 uh, is equals to here you can just easily find 4 to the power of 4 uh, in directly in your mind so 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 and its whole cubed and it is multiplied by 15. And now here further in the next step, uh, here uh, you see that if you have any number cube, it means that this number is multiplied by 3 times. So 256 cube means that uh, we will multiply 256 3 times uh, in this way and uh, at the last we multiply with this 15. So now here uh, we can solve uh, or we can multiply all of these numbers. Now first we can make the pairs uh, of these numbers so that we can multiply these two values and we will multiply first these two values. So in order to multiplication of the values then you see here these are the bigger numbers uh, and calculator is not allowed so that I can give you a nice method or smart way in which you can easily multiply bigger numbers without using the calculator. So uh, in this method, uh, first we uh, break this value. This is 256. We write it as 200 plus 50 and plus 6. And similarly, we need to multiply these two numbers. And here we break this 15 and we can write this number as it is. This is 256. We break this 15 as 10 plus 5. Okay. Uh, so now here in the next step, uh, we need to multiply this 256 on each of these values in this way, 256 multiplied by 200 plus 256 multiplied by 50 plus 256 multiplied by 6. And on the other side, uh, we multiply 256 with these two values and you see here 256 times of 10 is equals to 256 and 0. And plus we multiply 5 with this number you see here uh, 5 6 is a 30 we write 0 and carry 3 
5 5 is a 25 25 plus 3 becomes 28 we write 8 and carry 2 5 2 is a 10 10 plus 2 becomes here 12 so it will becomes 1280 so first we need to multiply these numbers and uh, here we add these numbers and at the last we can multiply uh, both of the resulting answers okay so now here uh, we move forward and we multiply these numbers so here we consider this is our one digit number and this is our three digit numbers so when you multiply zero with this number you get zero when we multiply this zero with this number we again get zero and when we multiply two with this number you get here uh, 2 6 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 2 5 is a 10 10 plus 1 is 11 we write 1 and carry 1 2 2 is a 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so it will become 51,200 only and plus here we multiply uh, uh, 256 with th this number you consider this is one digit number and this is two digit numbers so 0 times of this number equals to 0 and 5 times of this number equals to 5, 6 is a 30. We write a 0 and carry 3. 5, 5 is a 25. 25 plus 3 becomes 28. We write 8 and carry 2. 5, 2 is a 10. 10 plus 2 becomes here 12. And plus here we multiply 6 with this number. You see here 6, 6 is a 36. We write 6 and carry 3. Uh, 6, 5 is a 30. 30 plus 3 becomes 33. We write 3 and carry 3. 6 to the 12 12 plus 2 becomes 15 so here we need to sum up these two values and we can uh, sum these values directly in our mind you see here 0 plus 0 becomes 0 6 plus 8 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 so 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and this 2 plus 1 is 3 so now in the next step we need to uh, sum up these three values and you see here 0 plus 0 plus 6 is equals to 6 this 0 plus 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 2 plus 8 is 10 10 plus 5 becomes 15 we write 5 and carry 1 uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 plus 1 becomes here 6 so we multiply 65,536 with this number 3840 and we break this value as this is 3000 plus 800 and plus 40 okay so uh, in the next step we need to multiply uh, these values here uh, so that first we can multiply uh, this number with this 3000 uh, and now in order to multiply this number with this we first uh, write these three zeros here uh, we can write these three zeros and we multiply 3 with this value. Okay, you see here 3, 6 is 18. We write 8 and carry 1. Uh, so you see here 3, 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. We write 0 and carry 1. 3, 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. We write 6 and carry 1. 3, 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. We write 6 and carry 1. 3, 6 is 18. 18 plus 1 becomes here 19. And now here similarly we need to multiply this number again with this 800 so here these are two zeros we can first write these two zeros here and we multiply just 8 to this number so you see here uh, 8 6 is a 48 and we write here 8 and carry 4 and 8 3 is a 24 24 plus 4 uh, becomes here 28 we write 8 and carry 2 and 8 5 is a 40 40 plus 2 becomes 42 we write 2 and carry 4 8 5 is a 40 40 plus 4 becomes 44 we write 4 and carry 4 8 6 is a 48 48 plus 5 becomes 52 and now in the same pattern we multiply 40 with this number and here you see that this is 1 0 we can write 1 0 here and we multiply 4 with this number and you see here 4 6 is a 24 uh, we write 4 and carry 2 uh, 4 3 is a 12 uh, 12 plus 2 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 4 5 is a 20 20 plus 1 is 21 we write 1 and carry 2 4 5 is a 20 20 plus 2 becomes 22 we write 2 and carry 2 4 6 is a 24 24 plus 2 becomes 26 and now here in the final step we need to uh, sum up these three values and we get our final destination so you see here this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 this 0 plus 0 plus 4 equals to 4 this 0 plus 8 8 plus 4 becomes here 12 we write 2 and carry 1 so 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 
17 plus 1 is 18 we write 8 and carry 1 and uh, 0 plus 2 becomes 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5 and 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 6 is, uh, 10 plus 6 is 16, we write 6 and carry 1. Uh, so again we have um, this is uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, we write 1 and carry 1. And at the last we have 9 plus 5 becomes 14, 14 plus 1 is 15, we write 5 and carry 1 and finally we have 1 plus 1 becomes 2. So this is the, our final answer of the given question and thank you so much for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.